hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is debbie in this video i'll be showing you how to make this beautiful apron in fact this video was a kind of impromptu one because i needed to make two aprons within two and a half hours very early in the morning we had to go to school and we didn't want to be late to school my children had to submit the assignment so it was really a kind of you know choky choky thing for me anyways let's get started all right there he's this is my fabric and of course i had already cut out two fabric pieces i had measured it this is the open part of course i'm making two so this is the folded part as well so i cut the two at once because of time okay so here i have 36 inches by 13 inches okay so of course it's on fold and here I have my straps, my cutout straps. I have um, four for each apron, four for each, okay? And here is 26 inches by the length and three inches by width, okay? So um, here I have my pockets, two pockets for two aprons. So here is 15 by six inches for each of the pockets. So back to my main bodies. On the open part from the edge, I'll be measuring six inches inward, as shown, six inches. And from the same edge, I will come down, measure 10 inches, okay? So I will do the same here again. So on the six inches mark, just measure on 10 inches down and six inches in, okay? I will join the point with my straight ruler. And from this corner, I will go in by two inches. <laughs> and connect with the curve as shown. Okay, so at the bottom part from the um, hemline, I'm going up as you can see by two inches and connecting this way. The idea is just to prevent that part from, you know, being very sharp. I, do, I wouldn't want, you can leave it that way if you want, but I just want a curvy kind of edge, okay, around here. And I'll cut as well. All right, I'm done and this is what I have. So I will just go ahead and hem all the edges, okay? Now back to my strap, I will fold this way, right side to right side and stitch from, the, from one end to the other half an inch. And I will make sure I close one end and turn it inside out when I'm done. Now here I am done hemming all the sides, okay? With three quarter of an inch all the sides all the sides and here i am done with this as well like i said i closed one end this is the end that i closed and decided to leave the other end open okay so right now i will just fold in please ensure you iron as you are you know um, doing this i didn't have time to do that so i'm just tucking it in this way and i'm i'm going to stitch from one end to the other and I have it. So please iron this strap, very, very important. And once I'm done with this, okay, I will just place it under here and sew like a rectangle around it to secure properly. And I will do the same on this side as well. Just see what I'm doing, the way I'm turning my hands, that's how you're going to sew it all around and I will do the same 
on all the edges okay so i need just four straps and here is it okay so right now i'm going to fix my pocket i've already hemmed the upper part you can see i folded in one inch all together so and here is what i have so leaving the other sides opened okay so i'll just place it in the middle of my bodies this way okay leaving the upper part opened so here i will just fold in half an inch i'll fold in half an inch and stitch fold in half an inch on the bottom part okay and stitch fold in half an inch on this side as well and stitch and that will be all for my apron so look at what i have been able to achieve and when i tested it you know on my daughter's body it was really really beautiful this is a standard measurement and i would just love you to do the same all right thank you so much for watching this video and of course i will see you in my next video bye and please ensure you share this video ensure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so all right so this is what i have and i am really liking it i didn't have time to it didn't even occur to me to quickly take a picture of her but anyways it's beautiful thank you